Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Utah is home to the last <laughs> uranium mill in the United States, uh, the White Mesa Mill. Now, domestic production of uranium has plummeted over the last several decades. It was about 40 years ago when we reached our peak, when we were producing in the range of about 40 million pounds a year. Um, but in, in 2018, uh, uh, toward the end of this chart, we produced just 1.47 million pounds. Now, that doesn't mean that demand has waned. In fact, demand actually has remained relatively constant over the entire 70-plus period depicted in this chart. It's just that when domestic production diminishes, we make up for that on the international market. So in 2015, for example, the United States imported 65 million pounds of uranium. House Democrats are now uh, uh, wanting to impose some new features on, on this part of the economy, as has been mentioned already in this hearing, uh, in their reconciliation package, uh, one that would institute a royalty on hard rock minerals like uranium. This royalty, uh, as it has been mentioned, would be 8 percent for some. That is 8 percent of gross income uh, for new operations and 4 percent uh, on gross income for existing operations. And this is something that I believe would have a crippling effect on many domestic mineral markets in the United States. Ms. Swinney, I'd like to start with you. Does, how does U.S. dependence on mineral imports potentially threaten everything from our supply chains broadly to our infrastructure and our energy security? And specifically, how, how could a royalty like that being proposed in the House and a dirt tax like what they're proposing over there impact our ability to secure our domestic mineral supply chains? Thank you, Senator, for that question. Um, and I think uranium is a, a great example of how we've become excessively over-reliant on foreign sources of minerals over the years. I mean, when the, in, when the uh, Energy Information Agency can't even provide uh, the actual amount produced in the United States last year because it's proprietary information because there's so few producers. That's kind of a sad state of affairs. But it is one example of many uh, how we've become incredibly reliant on foreign sources of minerals, even for workhorse minerals like silver and copper that are used in, in solar and in electric vehicles and every aspect of modern life. Um, we're importing 80% of the silver, and we've got a lot of silver resources in the United States. And currently, 37% of our copper comes from foreign sources. These types of punitive fees that take us outside the total government take of our competitors are destined to really uh, freeze the investment in the United States. And those the, the other countries will profit from that, and some of those other countries are not our allies either. Right, right. Not our allies and aren't, aren't uh, to put it mildly, anxious to see us emerge as the global front runner in green energy technology or, or um, any of the high-tech sectors where the United States has some real potential. 